Welcome back guys. Today we are going to learn one of the interview question. How to verify the title of the page and compare with the expected value from Excel. Right. So here uh, I am just going with the scenario something like navigate to the Google page and get the title of the page. So the title already the expected title I store it in my uh, Excel sheet. So we have to read the data from that Excel sheet and we have to compare with the expected and actual value. This is what we are going to do, and this is you know Excel sheet. Uh, we have to read the data from Excel sheet. So what you have to do, you have to download the Apache POI jar file. You have to configure in your project, right? So before start writing with the uh, script, right? So now we'll go with that. How we have to go with the script? First we need to get the Excel workbook. This is a book because. We could able to add a lot of sheet over here, right? So this is workbook. So first we need to get the workbook. From the book we need to get the sheet, which see the value we we have stored. So we have to get the sheet. From the sheet we need to get the row, which row we need to go. From the row which column the values are stored. From the column we need to go with which cell, right? So from the cell we need to get the value. So this is what the flow we are going to write in the script as well, right? So the first step will be we have to get the workbook. For that we have a class called XSF workbook. We have we can give any um, variable name. Maybe you can give a book or XSF book any one variable name. Then new the XSF workbook. So this is what we need to create an object of the XSF workbook. Once this is done, then we need to pass your path of your file, right? So the path will be you can get it from your uh, uh, file. Just right click on this, you will be getting the properties. Go to security. Here you will be getting your path of your file. You need to copy that, and then you need to come over here. You need to paste the path of your file. This is one way of doing. Other ways you can copy this. I have a in one folder, right? You just copy the folder and come over here in your project. From the project, just right click and paste the folder. Already I pasted. See my uh, test data sheet is over here, right? So from here also we need to pass the path. How to pass the path? So directly you can give dot slash. Dot slash will be going to say that this is the root of the project. Till the root of the project will be getting. After that, we are having a folder called data. Within the data folder, we are having a test data dot Excel sheet. So test data dot Excel x. Right. So this is what we need to pass the path of your file. So add those declaration. So now we are getting the book. So with the book, we need to get the sheet. Right. So Excess of seed, seed equal to uh, from the book, right? So book dot get seed, right? So get seed that you will be passing. You can pass the index over here, right? Maybe you can pass the index or you can pass your seed name as well. So now I'm just passing the uh, index for the seed. Now uh, from the seed we need to get the row, right? So Row row equal to seat dot get row right so which row I want to so actually for mine first row will be the header so the second row will be the value so I can go with the one from it is the index will be going to start from zero one right so zeroth zeroth row we are having a header so the first row I can pass over here now this is the way we have to add now row already we have to import from that Apache POI. Now we need to go with the column, right? That is a cell. So cell, cell equal to from the row, row dot get cell. So here also you can pass that, uh, you know, index. So now we are saying the index is a zero only. That zeroth index column value we need to get. So this is also we need to import this thing. Once this is done, we need to get the value, right? So I can say string uh, expected 
title equal to cell dot cell is a this variable cell dot get string cell value so minus string value right so we can go with the get string cell value so now we are getting the expected value we can print as well you want to print you can print the value uh, maybe you can say expected title can coordinate the this variable so you will be getting this value from the from your excel sheet so now this is ready now we need to go with the uh, navigate to the url from that uh, google page i need to get the title right so we can say web driver driver equal to new chrome driver So now we need to get the title of we need to get the country selenium driver dot navigate. So we need to navigate to the URL. So I am getting the URL this one. Google page. So now I am going to google.co.in. Right, so now navigate to the Google page. I just wanted to get the title. Right, so driver.get title method is there. So this will go into return a string again. Right, so we can store it in a string. This is actual value. Actual title. Actual title equal to this one. Now we need to compare. We are getting an expected value from Excel sheet, actual value from the browser. Now we need to compare these things, right? So if you want to print, you can print this uh, in your console as well. You can say actual title and coordinate this variable. Now we can, we have to compare this. So with the if conditions, we need to validate. So here we can say, we expect our title dot equals. So we have to pass the actual one. This will go into return. If it is both are uh, equal, then it is going to return a true. If it is true, then we are saying that test case going to be passed. So I can see it is passed, right? If it is false, then it will coming into the else block. Here it will say test fail. So this is the way we need to validate, right? So let's run this. We'll see how this is going to work. So already in the test data sheet, I have added a value. I'll run this. The expected title Google it is returning. Now it is navigate to the Google page. So now we will see actual title also the same thing. So the test case is passed. So now suppose if I changing that value from Excel, what will happen? So we will see I will close this Excel. I will open this Excel. I will copy this. I will be opening my Excel sheet. Okay, now I'll be adding a something one, two, three. Okay, I'll save this. And close the Excel now, the test case is going to be failed. Right, so now the actual value, expected value will going to, not going to be uh, true. So it's going to return a false, then it is coming into the else block. I'll run this now. See the test case expected is coming from the Excel sheet. This is Google 123. Now actual value will be Google. So what happened? The test case failed. That actual value is a Google. If you see expected title value will getting from the Excel is a Google 123. So that's the reason it is getting failed. This is the way we need to validate the data from your 
excel sheet right and we need to compare so this is one data i have compared maybe you can you know with the same thing you know same concept you can go with that you know header uh, web table header value or drop down values we need to you know we need to store it in a values in the excel sheet then we need to compare with the website as well so this is the way we have to do that if you are having any other questions any scenarios if you want to uh, you know validate if you want to know that any other scenario please uh, let me know in the command box i will try to solve your scenario right i hope this is going to be help you thank you